Hey, it's Lizzie, and welcome back to the Game Maker Role Playing Game Tutorials. Um, so, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, I've been busy with school and stuff. Um, anyways, in this tutorial, we are going to be um, learning how to choose options from a drop down menu. Um, if you have, if you don't know how to do drop down menus with Game Maker, you can check out um, my uh, video how to do a drop, how to make a drop down menu with Game Maker. It's not part of this tutorial series, but uh, it should be helpful if you need it. Okay, to start with, open up your slot objects. Um, in the last tutorial, adding and deleting items, we uh, covered the create and destroy events. And in this case, we're going to cover the global left button event. And the reason it's just not, it's not just left button or left pressed or whatever is because we're not clicking on an object here and we actually draw these as sprites. I'll explain that, uh, why we do that in the next video. Basically what this is, is it just um, um, when you, in the global up button event, it uh, checks if um, you've clicked within the defined boundaries. So I've created a boundary for this object um, it's equivalent to just clicking on the object. Um, it, if you want, you can just uh, copy and paste this code from my website into your game. And uh, inside that is global selected slot equals object index. So it basically sets the selected slot to the ID of the slot object um, that is necessary. And then it um, is interesting part is script execute script choose option and you may recognize these uh, variables I literally have 10 arguments here and don't be overwhelmed it's, but this is basically just so there can be five option names and five option scripts and uh, these are all originated from uh, these all originated uh, from in script invent in it and then, of course, they get assigned to the slot object by the script item add. Anyways, so this basically goes to script choose option. Okay, so um, first it uh, does a drop down menu and it uh, um, the string um, used um, is basically a combination of all the uh, um, option names. So, you know, blank string plus string argument uh, zero or option zero plus string argument one option one so on all the way through uh, option four or five however you want to look at it. Um, then it uh, checks uh, which option was clicked on, um, 0 through 4. Um, and it executes the variable option um, 0 or option 1 as a string. So, all the way there. And uh, that's how that works. And um, so you can uh, see here. Um, like this is where you define what happens um, with the options and uh, so if you uh, option zero is look with coconut and um, make sure to add uh, this little thingy here whatever you call it I really still don't know the name of it I'm sorry uh, anyways um, hopefully you can find it on your keyboard um, but anyways that's necessary um, it's necessary to add this uh, for the options names until the last one. So for a clip, I don't add this. Otherwise, uh, there would be an extra box, and don't want that. So for option zero script look, I just basically did script execute script item description, and the uh, I set the uh, argument. Uh, the argu argument zero to the description variable, the uh, DSC, 
and uh, this script this script is really simple show message argument zero so that's the simple one and um, with drop script execute um, script item drop then uh, you know, I just I don't think this is necessary actually it's kind of confusing but anyway script item drop um, and then set argument zero to the object name you want to drop so I guess this is kind of unnecessary sorry um, anyways so this is what script item drop looks like with global selected slot and you know we defined uh, that global selected slot um, well, in here, and that, that was slot zero in this case. Um, so, with basically what we're saying is with the whichever slot we're using, execute uh, this code. Subtract the amount by one. So, like, get rid of one coconut or whatever. Subtract um, the global weight. And this is, you know, kind of like, you know, item delete here. Instance create. And it basically uh, creates it at the, in the center of the player here. My player is uh, 32 by 32 pixels. And uh, put argument zero here, which is, um, uh, basically defines which object will be dropped. And if amount equals zero, instance destroy. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, that works like that. And uh, as for equipped and stuff, um, I will get into that in a future video. And uh, well, let me show you an example. Okay, so let me pick up the coconut real quick here. So, if I look at it, it says a delicious coconut. That easy. If I uh, drop it, does it? Pick it up again. If I equip it, it goes here. I set it to I made it a weapon, but I'll go into that later. Later tutorial. And these are really simple slots, I know. You could make yours more fancy than mine, I'm sure. <laughs> I just didn't feel very well, I didn't feel like it, I guess I was lazy. Anyways, uh so uh and I think I'm just gonna eat this coconut. Probably broke all my teeth doing it. Anyways, uh, that's it for choosing options. Um, uh, be sure to check out my website. That would make things much easier if you copy the code. Um, and, well, thanks for watching.